Hi, it's Michael Ludwig here from HomeTheatreLife.com and today we're going to be unboxing the NK808B Plus. This is a new quad-core device that I ordered from Geek Buying about a week ago and it turned up in five days via DHL. So it's a quad-core device running at 1.5 GHz using Amlogic's new M805 chipset. It also has quad-core graphics using the Mali 450 chipset, so it'll be very interesting to see how this performs, particularly for applications like Xbox Media Center. So without further ado, let's open this up. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is anyone who's owned an MK808B before, that the packaging is identical. It's the exact same black box with the green stripe. The only real difference we've got here is the highlighting of the H265 codec. So this is a very bandwidth efficient codec that we're gonna start seeing being used a lot more in streaming services. So its inclusion is great. So the other thing we have is it's running KitKat. We have a, the, obviously the quad core specs there, 1080p video output, and also BGN Wi Fi. On the back of the box, we have a list of detailed specs. The key ones to note there are the 1 gig of DDR3 RAM and the 8 gig of onboard storage. So the device itself is identical to the MK808B. So it uses the exact same vent with the branding on the side there. On the front, we've got the USB on the go port. So this will allow you to plug in your keyboards, mice, hard drives, etc. The back, we've got again, some more H.265 branding with another vent, as well as the reset button. So the reset button will allow you to do your firmware updates, restore if there's anything that goes wrong, etc. We've got the micro SD card slot, so that'll support up to 32 gig from memory, but I will be testing it with some larger ones. We also have the mini HDMI port, so that's to get your video out onto your TV. And lastly, we have your USB host, so that'll allow you again, plug in keyboards, mice, hard drives, etc., as well as your USB power. So that's just a mini USB. Uh, it's very clearly marked that that's the one for power there. So the, the device has got a, a nice sort of rubbery coating, so it's very nice to hold. Uh, and I can't say it's slipping, but then again, it'll be plugged behind a TV, so it probably really doesn't matter, but it's nice nevertheless. So moving on to what else is inside the packaging, we have the mini USB power cable. So this is just a standard USB cable there. We're looking at about a meter, maybe a meter and a half. Um, the good thing is that these are quite economical to purchase, so if you do need a longer one, they are very cheap to get. However, this is, is quite a good distance, so it should be able to reach uh, between where the device is sitting and your power point. We're also given a power adapter. So this power adapter is your standard USB power adapter, five volt at two amps. So this is pretty common on what you'd see on, on any smartphone or tablet these days. So really easy to replace if you need another one. We're also given a USB on the go cable. So that'll take that mini USB on the go port and turn it into a full size one to make it easy to plug in your other peripheral devices. And we were also given a HDMI cable. Now, unfortunately, this is a very, very small HDMI cable, which sort of restricts what you can and can't do. However, the good thing is that adapters to take mini HDMI to a standard HDMI are very, very economical online. Uh, I'll provide some links inside the uh, comments there on the video. And uh, that'll allow you to plug the device in further away from the TV if necessary. We've also been given the standard manual. So this is a very basic getting started manual that runs you through how to use the device. However, if you've had some formality, uh, familiarity, sorry, with Android, very, very simple to set up. So you won't really have to worry about this device at all. So that's the end of the unboxing of the MK808B Plus. If you've got any comments, let us know in the comments field below or shoot us an email at hometheaterlife.com 
And make sure you go to our website and follow us. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Flipboard, basically any social media you can find us. So reach out to us there. Thanks a lot for watching.